and welcome to the IAF World Championships in Athletics, Beijing 2015. Well, I'm Peter Matthews, and with me, Steve Ovet and Rob Walker, and we're going to be providing commentary throughout these championships. Fascinating action ahead of us. We're going to do a series of little programs which tell you what to look for on each of the days of the championships. So, day one, we've got a very packed program, but it includes three finals, and we start very early in the morning with the marathon. So to tell you about that, here's Rob Walker. Thanks very much, Peter. This could be an absolutely sensational race, a great way for the championships to begin. Current world record holder, Dennis Kimetto, and Steve, he's up against Wilson Kipsang, who has said, former world record holder, that he's desperate for a major global title to go alongside his Olympic bronze medal. It's going to be quite some confrontation. Well, I think Kipsang is, for me, the man that's going to be the, to beat. I think he's in great form. It's a point-to-point it's a -point race as well, which is a big factor, really. And the temperature also is going to be a significant thing. It's going to be about 35 degrees. And this heat is radiating off the tarmac. It's going to be a tough race. And don't forget about Stephen Kipritich as well. He's the defending world champion. He's the reigning Olympic champion. And the Ugandan smashed his lifetime best with a brilliant 2.06.33 in Tokyo earlier this year. So he's in razor sharp form. And if that's a great way to start the day, Steve, the 10,000 metres is going to be electric. Yeah, it's going to be a fantastic race. Mo Farah, he's dominated the event for the last few years now. He won in Dago, the 5,000. He got the double in London, the 5 and 10. And then in Moscow again, the 5 and 10. If he wins again here, he'd have done something that Vlasi Viren and Bakili have never done. Six consecutive distant titles at world level. Absolutely fabulous. But it's not going to be easy. The Kenyans are here again. Paul Tanui and Jeffrey Kimramria. These two have won the cross country and was second in that as well and they could run as a team which could be a big factor in the race also Galen Rupp it's a training partner of the champion himself he's in it and the American won the championships he's American championships and I think he's going to be a big danger if it's tactically a slow race he's a very fast finisher the 10,000 meters the third of the finals on the first day will be a fantastic race so we have a fantastic first day. We start with the marathon, we end with the 10,000. Now I'd mentioned the three finals. Should also mention, of course, we've got the first day of the women's heptathlon. And of course that takes place over two days. Probably tell you more about that uh, with our second preview. But we do have three big favorites in that. It's Brianne Tyson Eaton, the wife of Ashton Eaton, who's the Canadian favorite for the title. And two fascinating British competitors, the world and Olympic champion Jessica Ennis returning to competition. She looks in terrific shape, but she hasn't had much competition yet. And the fantastic talent of Katerina Johnson-Thompson, who, however, has been troubled by injuries. A lot to speculate about that. It's going to be a great competition. And we will end tomorrow with the women's shot put. And here, of course, we have a real chance of a Chinese medal, perhaps even a Chinese winner. For the last decade, the women's shot has been totally dominated by Valerie Adams. She's won four world titles outdoors. She's won three world titles indoors, two Olympic titles. But after surgery, she came back this year, four competitions in the 1850-1880 range. She decided she wasn't ready. So there are three candidates who have all broken 20 meters this year. The clear favorite is in fact the runner-up last time, Christina Schwanitz of Germany, and she's been regularly over 20 meters. There's also the third placer from Moscow 2013, and that's Gong Li Xiao of China. And she has also been over 20 meters, although only on a couple of occasions. And there's the American Michelle Carter. Those three look certain, as much as one can be, to get the medals, but which order? And wouldn't it be marvelous if we can end that first day with a Chinese medal and possibly even a Chinese gold medalist? And that, of course, is just before we close with the 10,000. So, a great opening day, and uh, we're looking forward to getting underway as soon as we possibly can. So, farewell from Beijing for the moment.